title of the first section today is solving an equation. First question or first equation is 2x plus 3 equals 13. To solve an equation, we want to do a few steps to get x by itself. So our final answer would be x equals the number. If we have 2x plus 3, to get x by itself, we want to first move numbers away from x to the other side. If we have a plus 3, we can do the opposite of plus 3, which is minus 3, and we'll do that on both sides. The 2x would come down. Plus 3 minus 3 would cancel out. And equals 13 minus 3, which would be 10. And the last step, 2 times x. The opposite of multiplying by 2 would be dividing by 2. And again, we'll do that on both sides of the equations. 2 divided by 2 would cancel out. And the final answer, 10 divided by 2, would be 5. So the answer to the question, x equals 5. Second question, and last question for the section. Negative 3y minus 4 equals negative 24. Solving, we want to get y by itself. And again, the numbers away from y we'll get rid of first. Minus 4, the opposite of minus 4 would be plus 4. And again, we'll put plus 4 on both sides of the equation. Negative 3y would stay the same. Minus 4 and plus 4 would cancel. Equals negative 24 plus 4 would be negative 20. Different signs will subtract. Negative 24, 24 is a bigger number, so it's negative 20. And last step, negative 3 times y. To get rid of multiplying by negative 3, we can divide by negative 3. So y equals 3 does not divide into 20, and the fraction 20 over 3 cannot be reduced. So if we have two negatives, a negative divided by negative would be a positive. So our final answer will be 20 over 3. The title of this next section is Solving More Equations. First equation we'll solve 1 plus a over 5 equals negative 1. This equation has a fraction. Again, we'll solve with these same steps. We want to get a by itself, so our final answer would be a equals the number. a again would stay on the left side. We want to get rid of this positive 1. The opposite of positive 1 or adding 1 would be minus 1. 1 minus 1 would cancel out. a over 5 would stay the same. And negative 1 minus 1 would be negative 2. From here, we have a over 5 or a divided by 5. The opposite of dividing by 5 would be multiplying by 5. So we'll multiply both sides by 5. 
multiply by 5 and divide by 5 would cancel out. So we'll be left with a and negative 2 times 5 would be negative 10. So the answer a equals negative 10. Second question and last question for the section. Negative 10 equals negative 6 plus 2x. This time the variable x is on the right hand side. But again, the same steps, we want to get x by itself, so we want to move the negative 6 to the other side. The opposite of negative 6 or minus 6 would be adding 6. And again, we'll do that on both sides of the equation. Negative 10 plus 6 would be negative 4. Negative 6 plus 6 would cancel, and the 2x would stay the same. Last step to get x by itself, we have 2 times x. The opposite of multiplying by 2 is dividing by 2. Negative 4 divided by 2 would be negative 2. The 2's will cancel. And we'll have the answer negative 2 equals x. Or if you want to, you can rewrite it x equals negative 2. A library doubles the amount of books they have and then adds 4,028 more books. If they end with 51,514 books, how many did they start with? To solve this question, we can write an equation and then solve for the variable. If we're looking for the number of books that they started with, we can let that be x, a variable that we can solve for. At the beginning, they took the amount of books x and they doubled the amount of books. If we double x, that would be 2x, or 2 times x. After they doubled the book, they added 4,028 more books. So to this, we can add 4,028. And once they had that, they had a total for equals 51,514. So taking the word problem, we can write an equation using a variable like x. Solving this, we can find out what x is, or how many books they started with. Again, we want to get x by itself, so the first step, adding 4,028, we can cancel that by subtracting 4,028 from both sides. 2x would stay the same. And the adding 4,028 minus 4,028 would cancel. And subtracting these numbers, 4 minus 8, we need to borrow from the next number. The 1 we can change to a 0, and the 4 we can change to a 14. So 14 minus 8 would be 6. 0 minus 2, again we'll have to borrow from the next number. The 5 we can change to a 4, and the 0 we can change to a 10. So 10 minus 2 would be 8. 4 minus 0 would be 4. 1 minus 4, again we can borrow from the next number. 11 minus 4 would be 7, and the 4 would come down. So after subtracting we'd have 47,486, and that's what 2x would be equal to. 47,486.
Again, to solve for x, 2 times x, or multiplying by 2. We can divide by 2 to cancel that out. So we'll have x equals, and we have 47,486 divided by 2. To solve that, we can use long division. The top number or numerator we'll put inside the long division sign, 47,486. And the number 2 we're dividing by, or the denominator goes outside the dividing sign. 2 goes in the 4 2 times, so put that above the 4. 2 times 2 would be 4. And when you divide, we'll subtract the numbers. 4 minus 4 would be 0. And then we'll bring the next number down, which is 7. 2 into 7 would be 3. 3 times 2 would be 6. And 7 minus 6 would be 1. Bringing the next number down, the 1 changes into 14 now. 2 into 14 goes 7 times. 7 times 2 would be 14. Subtracting would be 0. The next number we can bring down, which would be an 8. 2 and 8 goes 4 times. 4 times 2 would be 8. Subtracting again would be 0. And last number we'll bring down is 6. 2 and the 6 would be 3. And 3 times 2 would be 6. Subtracting, which is 0, which means we have no remainder. So the answer, 23,743, is what x is equal to. 23,743 the amount of books that the library started with.